Hi, I'm James from J Technology, and today we'll be doing two reviews, the NetZero 4G Hotspot and the Freedom Pop Photon. So with the NetZero 4G Hotspot, this is everything that you get in the box. You get the Hotspot device, you get the micro USB cable, the travel charger, quick start guide, which explains the light and warp speed features, you get the getting started guide, and last, you get the connection software CD-ROM. With the NetZero 4G hotspot, we got it on special for $49.98, including $19.95 for shipping and handling. The regular price is $99.95 and $19.95 with shipping and handling. Basically, uh, there are no returns, you uh, own the device outright. You get 200 megabytes of free data a month, and if you exceed that per month, you either have to wait the following month to get another 200 free data, or you have to purchase one of their plans. And the plans that they have, they have four different plans. For $9.95, it's 500 megabytes of data. $19.95, you get 1,000 megabytes of data. For $34.95, you get 2,000 megabytes of data. And for $49.95, you get 4,000 megabytes of data. We tested the speeds on the um, NetZero hotspot, and by default, what they call the uh, light speed, we were getting 0.45 megabytes per second, and for upload, 0.26 megabytes per second, which is kind of slow. So once we logged on to the uh, device via the web interface, there's a feature they called warp speed. And for the warp speed, we're getting download speeds of 4.2 megabytes per second and upload speeds of 0.83 megabytes per second. The things we did like about this device, we liked that it did have a large LCD display which showed the, uh, the battery uh, strength, the signal strength, uh, if you're getting a 4G connection, the SSID and the password, which you can also hide. Um, it also has a feature where you can connect this directly via USB to your PC or Mac. We like that it had a feature of the firewall settings and has a sound indicator to let you know if you're disconnected. The thing is that we did not like about the um, NetZero 4G was we were getting a lot of dropout um, connections. Um, we're losing connections a lot. It also, we didn't like the, the limited 200 megabytes a month compared to the Freedom Spot uh, 500 megabytes. And the last thing was it's, it's kind of big and bulky and a little heavier than the Freedom Pop. So with the Freedom Pop Photon, you basically get the hotspot device, you get the quick starter guide, the micro USB cable, and the travel charger. The Freedom Pop Photon, basically the price on this was $99 with $4.99 shipping and handling, giving a total of $103. Uh, the $99 is refundable within the year, so if you decide to return it, you get the $99, but you got to make sure it's within the year. After the year, um, you don't get your deposit back. You get 500 megabytes of free data a month. And if you exceed or get to 80%, or they say $2 uh, left of the 500 a month, you will automatically get charged $10, which will be deducted out of your credit or debit card, depending on which one you have in file with Freedom Pop. Um, they call it the automatic top up, and that is set by default if you log on to the, your account through the uh, web interface. And again, that's a $10 deduction a month if you exceed uh, the 500 megabytes. So for the plans, um, they basically offer two. Uh, the first one is uh, for 2,000 megabytes a month, it's $17.99, and for 4,000 megabytes a month, it's uh, $28.99. But also remember, the 500 megabytes a month that is free, you are basically grandfathered in for that. I spoke with Adam from uh, Freedom Pop, and he said that's uh, indefinite. So that's 500 megabytes still, even after the year. We tested the speed on the Freedom Pop Photon, and the download speed we were getting average was about 
93 megabytes per second and the upload speed was 0.50 megabytes per second. The things we did like about the uh, Freedom Pop Photon, uh, we liked that it had less dropouts than the Net Zero 4G. Um, we liked the small form factor and very lightweight compared to the Net Zero. We like the feature that it also has the Direct Connect via USB to your PC or Mac. Uh, the firewall settings that you have. And the nice thing about the Freedom Pop um, Photon is you can upgrade the speed up to 12 megabytes a second uh, for only $2.99 a month. The things we did not like were the uh, there's no LCD screen on this device. You only have the small LED lights. Uh, we didn't like the, the fact that you had the promotions to get free data. Uh, we actually thought that was kind of annoying, but some people do like that. And the customer service. Uh, if you call them, you'll never get a person who would answer the phone. Or if you do, that's very rare. Um, they will call you back if you leave a voicemail. Um, so it's better just to email them and they will respond to you quicker that way. We like both of these devices. They're really good for the casual surfer. Uh, they did have some data limitations. And the interesting thing about both of these devices is that they use the same clear wireless WiMAX network. So if you're looking for another hotspot option, there's also the clear wireless WiMAX Hotspot Voyager, which is $49.99, and they have two plans. The first plan is $34.99, and that you get the 4G Internet Basic Unlimited Data, which is download speeds up to 1.5 megabytes per second, or you can get the second plan, which is $49.99. That's 4G Internet Plan Unlimited Data for download speeds up to 6 megabytes per second. So for the money, that's another, another uh, good option. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video review. I'm James from J Technology. Thanks for watching.